Out of the last two DLC characters we got, Corrin can be considered quite the opposite of Bayonetta. Not very combo heavy, but he's got his own special tricks that can certainly pack a punch as well. In this video, we'll cover everything Corrin's got. Let's start off by looking at his Dragon Fang shot. Think of this as Zero Suit Samus' stun gun, except better. The Dragon Fang can be charged by pressing and holding B after the initial shot. A stun to fully charged Dragon Fang can kill a midweight at around 70% at the edge of Smashville, regardless of DI. This can also set up for an amazing option select when edge guarding your opponent. If you stand exactly this distance away from the ledge, Corrin can cover four getup options with its Fang neutral getup, getup attack, jump, and roll. And if they get up too early, they'll get stunned by the shots into the Fang. It's overall a strong tactic, but don't spam it, because it can be countered by waiting on the ledge, then punishing after you release the Fang. Dragon Fang Shot itself is an amazing projectile. It can be B reversed or wave bounced, which is useful for controlling space or throwing your opponent off. If you land a grounded stun shot, there are guaranteed follow ups you can get depending on the percent range. At low to mid percents, go for a dash attack. Against certain fast fallers, it's possible to stun lock them at around 90 to 100%. To do this, hit them with an uncharged stun at about this distance, then dash forward. It's important that you dash further than a foxtrot so you won't get the skid. After the dash, let go of the stick then instantly hit B. If done correctly, your second shot will connect during their landing lag. By doing this, you can get your opponent closer to the blast zone before throwing out the finisher. Just a note, mashing does not affect stun time, so that's one less thing you need to account for. At higher percents, go for a smash attack, only if you're in range. A perfect pivot can come in handy if you're a tad too far. If you're out of range for a smash attack, follow up with an aerial or a dragon lunge. Here's a really strong combo if you land a fully charged stun shot close to your opponent at around 40%. Run up, footstool, then instantly down air. Run up again, then do an instant dragon lunge into a kick, which deals 43% damage. For those who don't know, an instant dragon lunge is done by pressing side B then immediately rolling your thumb to the A button, or hitting B twice, really fast. Once you've got the timing down, you can combo into it from a fast fall forward air at around 0-20%. to Neutral air and down air works as starters too from around 0-10%. to Always make sure you do the lunge kick as quickly as possible after you pin them, cause the pin state can be mashed out of. If a really good button masher manages to struggle out of your grab, do an instant dragon lunge. And if they get air released, go for a full jump dragon lunge. It's not guaranteed, but it can be a good mix up. The lunge kick can also go through many projectiles like Pac Man's fruits, and key, Samus's missiles, Link's boomerang, and many more. Dragon lunge excels especially on platforms. He receives no lag upon landing, meaning he can instantly double jump or do a reverse dragon fang shot to cover himself. <laughs> Platforms also allow for an interesting tech called Lunge Cancel. To do this, start off by standing near the edge of any platform. Hit down, then before Corn even falls through, instantly roll your joystick quarter circle forwards, then B. Rinse and repeat. Practice at slower speeds in training mode first. It can also be cancelled by doing side B right before you land on an edge. Use this for keeping the opponent away, mind gaming them, or straight up catching them off guard. Another way to use Dragon Lunge for guarding the edge is a straight up run off and side B. You can spear the opponent's recovery move if timed correctly, then kick them. If you miss, you're still in a very advantageous position, since your lunge kick can cover a number of getup options. Corrin has a few other interesting ways of edge guarding as well, such as down air. This move drags the opponent downwards, essentially spiking them, usually leading to death for Corrin as well, unfortunately. Stages with a wall, however, you can pull this off without a kamikaze. Immediately after you down air, mash jump, then side B towards the stage. Instead of kicking, input jump, then up B. Down air's momentum can also be cancelled after Corrin gets knocked upwards. To do this, input down air as the hit stun wears off. This can potentially catch your opponent off guard. When Korn's forward smash is charging, his sword is a constant hitbox, which combos into his forward smash. This can come in very handy for edge guarding. By facing the stage and charging it right at the edge, you can cover every single getup option. Neutral getup, getup attack, roll, and jump. Though simply standing there waiting with your back towards your enemy is way too obvious and vulnerable. To make it less predictable, dash towards the edge just as your opponent grabs it, then do a reverse charging forward smash. 
A charging forward smash can also be used to intercept a number of things, including recovery moves such as Fox and Falco side B, Ike side B, Diddy side B, and more. Also projectiles like Wii Fit Trainer's soccer ball, Mega Man's walking leaf shield, and Rob's gyro. Corrin's counter surge is arguably one of the best counters in the game, with a damage multiplier of 1.3, which is the highest out of all counters. Plus it has the strongest knockback that launches vertically, which DI also affects the least. To put it in perspective, countering a fully charged forward smash can kill Little Mac at 0%. Countering strong attacks in the air on high grounds will usually end the stock pretty early. It can also be used for edge guarding as well. At high percents, countering certain upbeat recoveries will end the stock. The range of counter surge is also the largest. Corrin's up B, Dragon Ascent, has a bit of invincibility near the beginning, but he'll be vulnerable afterwards. It doesn't make him travel very fast either, meaning you should be careful when you use it. If you catch your opponent treading too close to the edge, you can hold down during your up B to bypass the ledge and hit them. Throwing out a Dragon Shot before dropping below the ledge can fend off edge guard happy opponents, or even punish them for it. All I've been talking about are Corrin's specials. Now let's delve into some of his normal attacks. Down tilt can true combo into an up air or neutral air from mid to high percents. Besides leading into dragon lunge, neutral air and forward air can combo into up air or neutral air from zero to mid high percents. Last but not least, there's a little glitch Corrin has with his grab. If you grab certain characters at a specific distance from the edge and don't pummel or throw them, they'll be trapped in this struggling animation limbo forever. This glitch doesn't have any use other than stalling, so hopefully Sakurai will fix it. Well guys, that's it for Corrin. Hope you found it helpful. Um, also, if you don't already know, I stream on Twitch, so follow me there if you want to hang out sometime. With that said, I'll see you in the next video.